Hey YouTube, RV Safari here. Let me show you a great tip that I found for using the uh, Phantom 4 Flight Simulator that I think is really helpful. The goal of the, of the tip is to get this small map right here to be full screen. So here I have loaded up the G DJI Flight Simulator for the Phantom 4 and uh, let's get this map full size and if you press on it you get an error message that says full screen map not provided in simulator. So let me show you in this video how to get this map to the full screen. Before I go on, let me just thank all my viewers and my subscribers. I really appreciate the positive words of encouragement. It means a lot. I really enjoy making these videos and hopefully you enjoy watching them. And again, also before we continue, let me just say that the uh, Phantom 4 that I have um, right now for safety has no propellers on it. Uh, it's important to keep the propellers off of the Phantom 4 when you're training indoors, unless you mean to fly the Phantom 4 indoors. But an unexpected flight indoors could be uh, a catastrophe for uh, the Phantom 4 and your furniture. So here's how you get the screen to be full size, this uh, small map to be full size. So you go back to the DJI camera mode. You press the camera mode here. The next thing you do is you press on the map in the camera mode. And then for some reason you have to kind of move it around a little bit. I find sometimes magnifying it is helpful. And then you go back to the uh, flight simulator. And sometimes it just needs uh, one reset, sometimes it needs more than one. But now if you press on the uh, Google Earth map down here, okay, that, that time it didn't work, it says full screen map not provided. So we go back to the uh, Addy mode. camera mode, back to the camera mode, back to the uh, full screen that we have right here. Now we go back to the flight simulator. And now you get the flight simulator on the, uh, the full size. So at this point, let me take off the uh, Phantom 4 in the simulator mode. Take off. Go up here to about uh, 20 meters. And now you can see as we fly the uh, Phantom 4 around, we have the same um, controls as the real uh, Phantom in a virtual um, map. You can get an idea of the different uh, characteristics of flight and get some good training without risking your Phantom 4. So that is the way to get the Phantom 4 flight simulator to go full screen. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And comments are always appreciated. Thank you very much. This is RB Safari, signing out.